Hi lovely, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be taking you to work with me today. So I'm standing outside of the co-working space, which I am really just happy to be back at more regularly now that it's not a lockdown. So come on in, I'm gonna show you what I get up to behind the scenes of my work because I wear many different kinds of hats and I'm also gonna share some productivity tips. So let's go. Morning! <laughs> I haven't seen you today, so... <laughs> Welcome to the co-working space. So welcome to one of the meeting rooms. I'm gonna show you a few different ones in the space throughout this video, because I think they're so cool and each one has their own unique theme. But I'm really excited to share a productive day in the life behind the scenes with you all. As you might know, I have many different kinds of tasks that I do. Being a YouTube creator, an influencer, an author, a semi-blogger, a business owner or entrepreneur, there are so many different things that I need to get done on any given day or week. And I definitely am one to need to multitask, but I love my job because it allows me to really be creative. And I also just love being busy. I love being productive. And I'm really excited for this video to be partnering with ASUS. They generously sent me their new laptop. It's the ZenBook Duo 14. And I actually can't begin to tell you how perfect the timing was my old laptop which i have used for the last 12 years actually just didn't make it and i really was in need of a new laptop and i am so impressed with how easy it's been to navigate this new laptop i love all the new features so i'm going to share with you how it's actually helping me to multitask be more productive enjoy all the different jobs that i have to get done on any given day or week and be really creative it honestly just makes a lot of the tasks that I do a lot easier. And I really want you all to stick around to the end of this video because they have partnered with me not only to bring you this video, but to gift one of you a brand new laptop. So I know that a lot of you have been having a really challenging time. I can't begin to imagine what some of you are going through. And if I could do anything to make your life easier, like providing you with a tool to get your work done, be creative, and just really encourage you to pursue your dreams, then that just makes me so happy. So if you wanna be in the draw to win one of these laptops, the ASUS ZenBook Duo 14, then just stick around to the end and I'll share the T's and C's with you all then. So in case you're wondering how I like to start my day at the office, I've got to start with my cup of tea and my little keep cup here. So this is actually just an English breakfast tea with some honey, but the happiness team here, the front desk ladies, make this beautiful like little tea station in the kitchen and there's always fresh fruit. So I just made myself a cup of tea because it's my little ritual to get into my work mode or into that state of flow. All right, so I'm gonna share with you the first task that I'm gonna start my day with at the office, which is replying to your beautiful comments on my most recent YouTube video. So I usually do this every Wednesday morning when I get to the office, and it's one of my favorite things to do, but I actually want you to come around here and just see how I do it because I've changed it up and there's a little bit of multitasking going on now, which makes my life so much easier. And by multitasking, I don't mean juggling two different completely unrelated tasks. I mean working more efficiently by trying to get tasks that complement one another done around the same time. So come around here lovely and have a little peek. So one thing that I love, now let me just preface that I have not been a PC girl for a while and it literally took me like no time at all to get the hang of this laptop. So I'm actually not very tech savvy. If you really know my story of YouTube, I had to Google how to use YouTube and upload my first video. Like I had no idea what I was doing. I'm all self-taught. So to reply to your comments, I've actually set up some different task groups. So I 
tap that little button here because everything is touch screen by the way. And then I just figured this out yesterday. You can actually label your task groups. So I've got YouTube comments here and it just sets up my task. Like what? How simple is that? I, I so appreciate anything that makes my life easier and stress-free. And also I'm not gonna have any unnecessary tabs or browsers open because this is setting me up to get my task done, focus on that and not be distracted by anything else. So having this second screen got me thinking about ways that I can work smarter and not harder and maximize my productivity and output in meaningful ways. So using the screen pad plus, I'm really intentionally multitasking where I have my YouTube comments displayed and I can reply to them while pulling my favorite ones to feature in my IG graphics that I'm making on a website called Canva. So I feel like this really improves my productivity, efficiency. I'm multitasking because the second screen makes it so easy that I don't actually feel like I'm juggling another task. It's just part of the overall process of replying to your lovely comments. And then a little cheat that I do when I'm now designing my thumbnails for YouTube as well is using the second screen, I actually display either my most recent videos. So I'll hop into my YouTube channel, display my videos down below as a reference, or I will head to someone else's channel and have their videos displayed just so I have that inspiration while designing my thumbnails in Canva on the main screen. And it really helps just to be able to have a second glance at other designs. And again, just makes me feel like I'm being more creative because I can use that as a visual cue. So I find that really handy. And I put a lot of time into my thumbnails. They often take me at least an hour. And I feel like this also just makes it a lot easier. So that's my little thumbnail hack for anyone out there. So getting all of my tasks done, whether they're really creative or more admin sort of things, it's as simple as just dragging and dropping whatever is on the screen and I can pop it on the large screen. I can switch them back with the tap of a switch and reverse whatever was on the small screen versus large screen. And you can even pull up multiple things all at once. So if I wanted to access perhaps my sticky notes, I can open them up. I can then drag them down to the bottom screen. I can shrink them as well. So now that they're only gonna take up a smaller part of the screen and I can even have three tabs open at once on the bottom. I also really like the tilt feature that reduces the glare on this second screen. It just makes it a lot easier to see what's on the screen. And it also means it's got improved thermal performance. So you do not need to worry about your laptop overheating like my old one used to do a lot, it used to drive me crazy. Also the designs of the screen gives you this really immersive viewing experience, especially if you're watching maybe a video like one of my YouTube videos, because it's got this dual screen, which has a four-sided frameless nano edge display, and it's super bright. And it also has a 93% screen to body ratio, which is amazing. Also, as you know, I have my stationary line and digital planners. So this laptop is actually Pantone validated for professional grade color accuracy. So if you're a designer, an artist or an art major, this is so handy. I could definitely have utilized this feature back when I designed my stationery, and I'll definitely be utilizing it when I'm creating new designs like my digital planners. Now it's time to break up the morning tasks. As you know, I have to have regular breaks, so it's time for some morning tea. So this is another one of my little go-to spots at the co-working space. It's just really nice because in the winter you get the sun coming through the window, although we've drawn the blinds down because the glare is not our friend when we're filming. And I like to just come here and post on my Instagram around this time of day, reply to your comments and direct messages. And it's also really nice just to separate all of my work from my home life. And that way I can be fully present when I'm on social media and fully present when I'm at home. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, welcome to another one of my favorite rooms. This is the Think Tank Pink Room. Can you tell why I love it? Because it's pink, it's so cute. The next task I wanna share with you some behind the scenes of and how I operate this in a really productive kind of way or really efficiently is how I go about planning out my Instagram content, how I write my captions and how I plan out the sort of topics that I'm gonna be covering on any given week. So as you know, my Instagram stories, I post them pretty much in real time, but my IG captions, 
I actually don't post them in real time because I like that I can set aside an afternoon or a couple hours throughout the week and really get into that writing flow. I love the writing aspect of my work. I love to be creative in different ways, not just with photography or filming, but even with the things that I write. And that's where I really enjoy putting out content on Instagram. So the way I've been going about writing my IG captions lately is I've made another task group. I think I mentioned this, but I only just realized that you could label them. So now it's really easy. I have one for script writing, thumbnails, Planly, because that's where I write my captions and my YouTube comments. So for this one, I've just got Planly. It's a website, it's on my main screen, and that's where I'll write out my captions. But I actually have my Instagram feed down below in the second screen, that screen pad plus. And this way I can use that as a reference to see what sort of things have I been posting recently, make sure that everything visually looks really nice, but that the content is also really broad and holistic. I don't just wanna be covering productivity tips or wellness tips or organizational tips. I wanna be doing it all for you because I know each one of you is requesting different kind of stuff and I just love making all that sort of content. So it's really handy that I can have my IG feed displayed down below, again, as a little creative reference or visual reference. And I know that whatever content I'm gonna be writing, I can be inspired by my most recent pieces that I've put out there and even just see what the comments on those posts have been to see if you'd like more of that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next little while. And it's time to pop on my reading glasses because I cannot work and stare at my laptop for too long without them. And I've still got some tea, so let's get into some writing. So welcome to the Lulu room. This is actually my favorite room because it is so comfy and being the afternoon and after lunch, shoes are off. I'm getting comfy and cozy in here. I love getting into this room and just doing a lot of my writing for YouTube. So I thought I would show you some behind the scenes of what I do when it comes to planning out new content and scripts for my YouTube channel and even how I planned out this video that you're watching right now, lovely. So I thought I'd get into that. And for this task, I personally just need my Spotify playlist going just to get me into that state of flow. And I feel like when I'm playing music, I feel more creative. So I love that I can actually have my Spotify playlist displayed on my laptop, along with my scripts and my little Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna give you a bit of a closer look into that in a moment. But basically I have so many video requests, it's hard to keep track of them. So I got super organized, the study with Jess kind of way, and I made an Excel spreadsheet where I keep tabs of all the different video ideas and when I'm planning to work on them and film them and upload them. So if you have any other video requests, leave them below and I guarantee they'll go into this Excel spreadsheet. So let's get into some writing now. All right, so this is by far my favorite task group, how I've designed it. So for script writing, I just tap that one here and I've got my Word doc, my Excel spreadsheet, and of course my Spotify playlist going because I need my music. But if you're a student and you have essays that you're working on, you could have your document for writing out your essay on the second screen down below and then have your relevant articles or web browsers open up here and you can pull relevant information as you go. So it's really nice that it's all set out like this all in front of you. And also I really like the ergonomic design of the second screen. So it's really comfortable when you're typing. It just makes it feel a little bit more natural. Also seeing as I'm someone that cannot sit still for very long and I move around the space all the time, it's really nice that the lightweight design of this laptop makes it so portable and it's just so convenient to take around with me, whether I'm coming from my house to the co-working space or just moving about the rooms in here. Plus the battery life being over 17 hours, I don't even have to take my charger with me, which means more room in my bag for snacks. <laughs> Now, as someone who used to be addicted to her emails, something that I've started doing is I will wait till the end of my day to check my emails because the last thing I wanna do is start my day off checking my emails, seeing what new tasks need to be done before I've even had a chance to tackle the tasks I planned to do that day. So typically I'd be wrapping up with my emails, but I thought for the sake of this video, we would wrap up with A, James, are you ready? a one minute Q&A rapid fire where I'm gonna try and get through as many questions that you've sent through on my Instagram account at Study With Jess, all about productivity, work-life balance and my work or career. So let's get into it. Ready to go? Yeah, ready. Okay, what's your number one productivity tip? Never have your phone with you when you're trying to work. It's a massive distraction. 
What's one thing you stopped doing that's helped you be more productive? Stop checking my emails first thing in the morning. Uh, do you always know that you want to have this career? And what's your advice for someone trying to choose what to do? Definitely didn't think I would be a YouTube creator. It wasn't even a thing when I was in high school. Um, it honestly just happened organically. I kind of just fell into it and fell in love with it. My advice, trying to find your career, um, think about your skills, draw it out, make a mind map, list everything that you are interested in or passionate about and let that guide you. Nice. Uh, what do you do when you have brain fog? Take a break, take a nap, <laughs> listen to my body. One thing that helps you stay focused? Um, eating well, eating healthy. Uh, do you recommend multitasking? Yes, only if it's helping your efficiency, not if it's completely unrelated tasks. Nice. Uh, I think that's it. Yay! <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed coming to work with me today. Now, if you want to go in the drawer and win one of these Asus ZenBook laptops, which I am so beyond in love with, I'm so happy to have a new laptop now and I'm really appreciative of Asus to be able to partner with me on this video today, just head to my Instagram account at study with Jess if you're not following me already. My most recent or one of my most recent posts is gonna be featuring the laptop and the T's and C's will be there. So head on over, you can follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks as well. But thank you so much to ASUS for partnering with me to bring you this awesome video. I've had so much fun filming it, haven't I, James? I've like laughed so many times. I um, hope you enjoyed that little Q&A as well. And click the link down below if you wanna check out the ZenBook Duo 14. Um, highly recommend that you do. I'll have a link in the description box along with all of my other resources as well to help you out like my book, my stationery, my digital planners and my blog. So check them out, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week with another video. Mwah! Bye lovely. All right, James, do you have a minute on the clock? Got a minute. Okay, let's go. Okay, question number one. What's your number one productivity tip? Oh my gosh, I'm going blank because I feel like I'm caving under the stress. Um, What's one thing that helps you stay focused? Stop the clock. <laughs> Wait, what is my number one? Oh, of course, I know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I've just totally, this totally is be a great outro, so freaked out <laughs> under the pressure. We should just put this as the outro. Like the yeah. Outro after the outro. I don't cope well under stress, <laughs> like I really don't, so I'm a planner. <laughs>